Hi, welcome to John's Jeep Garage. Today we're installing a front drive shaft, an Adams drive shaft, the 1310 CV on a Jeep Wrangler JK. In an earlier video on our channel, you'll see how to remove the factory drive shaft. Um, this scope of this video is only installing the Adams 1310 CV with solid U joints. Adams has been around since 1996. They are known for the best warranty in the business, and I highly recommend if you're going to upgrade a drive shaft to go with Adams. So we're going to show you the step-by-step -step, um, how to do it on installing the front drive shaft on our Jeep Wrangler. It's a 2016. Follow along. Thank you. All right, let's start by talking about the things you need to do this job. First and foremost, we're a home garage. So hopefully we can help you that don't have those commercial lifts that you see in a lot of videos and kind of show you what the basics are from your home. Uh, since we're working on a lifted Jeep, we have enough room to perform this job. But if not, we would need jacks, jack stands, chalk to tires, and keep everything safe. Now let's walk through the tools that we have. First on this side, we're gonna use black RTV and red thread locker. You're gonna need a torque wrench gloves we both have the rubber gloves and the work gloves safety glasses you're going to need a 15 millimeter socket and we have an 18 millimeter socket in case you want to take the skid plate off definitely a, your ratchet set with a, fifth, a 5 16 inch socket we're going to keep the four factory bolts that came with that front pinion yoke those are 15 millimeter we have a one and one quarter inch socket and some extensions that we'll be using with our impact driver. We have the yoke that came with the Adams drive shaft. We have the bolts that they provided. I'm using a work light. I have a knee pad because I'm an old guy that crawls down here. Um, otherwise, if we see any other tools that we didn't mention here, we'll mention them in the video. For the transfer case yoke bolts, you need a 5 16 12 point gear wrench. I prefer to take the transfer case skid plate off to give myself more room to work. It's an 18 millimeter socket. You need a one and a quarter inch socket to remove the transfer case flange nut. You know, the plastic mallet just wasn't doing the job, so I upgraded to a ball peen hammer and uh, you can see the results here. All right, take the O-ring out of the stock, uh, the factory flange, and put it in the yoke provided by Adams. Make sure that you uh, push it in and uh, let it seat correctly on that inside circumference. Okay, now take that nut and uh, go ahead and put some RTV all the way around it. All right, let's put that uh, new yoke on, make sure it's seated all the way. Then we're gonna put a little red thread locker on the nut and then I'm going to put it up and hand tighten it uh, to get it started. Let's uh, take a closer look at this. And then we'll take our one and a quarter inch socket. And then um, I'm using an impact. And I'm just not going to you know, use the impact all the way. I just want to make sure it's, uh, it seats tight up against the uh, base. And then we will go ahead and... Um, use our torque wrench. So when doing the torque setting, I set the emergency brake, but I had uh, put it into automatic into neutral, pulled it into four wheel drive low, put it back in park, turned it off. And that way I had that yoke locked so I can put resistance to get it against it for the torque. So I'm using my long arm torque wrench set for 160 pounds, but it's going to take a few strokes because my arc is short. So I just got to have patience. So I get these bolts with the Adams drive shaft. Please clean the oil residue off 
the bolts before using Loctite. So what I do is, uh, and they should be torqued to 18 foot pounds. So I'm just gonna use some brake clean and uh, just do a quick little douse to get the oil off. Add red thread locker to the yoke bolts. If you're doing this by yourself, I suggest temporarily just to initially get the first couple bolts in to put a 15 millimeter bolt only hand tight, maybe a third of the way just to help get it level. Again, this is if you're doing it by yourself, I strongly suggest having a second person just to be able to hold and um, help you position the shaft on the transfer case yoke. All right, so let's get the transfer case side of the drive shaft lined up with the yoke. Let's start to thread our bolts in. I'm using that gear wrench, which seems to be much more effective. Um, the torque setting on this is going to be 18 foot pounds. And that's, you can't get a torque wrench in here. So what I do is I get a snug fit and then I bump it about another quarter of a turn. Remember, I still have that one bolt on the other side, so I'm able to rotate it and inspect to make sure everything is secure. Okay, we rotated it back in position, put red thread locker on all the bolts. Take that one that you had in originally, pull it out, put red thread locker on that as well. And then um, what we're gonna do is just hand tight and then we'll go ahead and use the impact or use your ratchet to tighten these things up. Once we've snugged all these up, we gotta torque it. Uh, the torque setting on this is gonna be 80 foot pounds. And then replace your skid plate. Remember, those are 18 millimeter bolts. The torque setting for these bolts are 55 foot-pounds. All right, well, that's a wrap. Just want to point out a couple things for you. Um, one is Adams has a great technical helpline. So if you have any problems with their products, call them. They're uh, happy to help you, want to see you succeed, and definitely stand behind their products. Uh, the other thing is just from, from my standpoint, that 160 pounds on that one and a quarter inch nut on the transfer case yoke side. Um, make sure that you use an appropriate torque wrench to be able to get the full swing and, um, and ensure you torque it to that, uh, to that specification. Um, otherwise, if you have any comments, please leave it um, on our channel and uh, thank you for watching.